Hi everyone, I am Rajesh Kumar. I am having close to 16 plus years of experience in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. I have worked with more than 12 software organizations around the globe. I would like to introduce you all a DevOps School's a flagship certification program in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, this program will get started in the weekends. Uh, so get involved. Uh, please contact us on the phone number given on the screen. And in fact, you can email us on, on the contact at the rate of DevOps School. What has happened guys, uh, replication control load was introduced initially and they had a some bugs. So they, in order to fix that bug, they introduced the replica sets. So that means replica set is the new resources for replication plus control. Okay. So, so, and the same thing deployment use the replica set for these features. Simple. So then you will say Rajesh, okay, then the deployment has these two features and replica set also has these two features. Then why do we use the deployment? So actually deployment has few more features actually. And that's called versioning the deployment, rollout and rollback. Okay, so these are the few features extra you have. That means let's say you deploy, deploy the app one and then app two and then app three through the container and all. So this all records will be maintained in the deployment. That is the one thing. And you want to roll out without even single second of downtime. There's a rollout strategies. So that is available in the deployment. You want to roll back without a single second of downtime. So there's a rollback strategy that is in the deployment. So these are the five features which you have mainly in the deployment. So we use uh, this resources only for the deploying any parts. Okay. Same thing I'm going to show you right away. Are you comfortable? Yes. So guys, I'm going to deploy through the command line. So here, QCTL, create, deploy, hyphen H. I, I told you this is the pattern I, to, I taught you already. So one of the examples, I'll copy it from here. So what you want? So I want to deploy. Which image? So I want to use my image because I want to show some output actually. Yeah, this is my image. How many replicas you want? Three. De default namespace, mind it. So here, QCTL. Oh, why am I typing? I have created. So this I created deployment. QCTL. Get a deploy. The same CRUD commands. See here. Describe deployment. Describe deploy and here yeah. and you see that deployment if you look at this deployment is controlled by somewhere see replica sets this is the name of the replica sets okay let me show you get rs rc not rs see here. this is the same and if you see that pods three you got it here now this pods if you see that describe the pod pod and this pod is controlled by replication control, uh, replica sets. Where is a control, 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 control? Here it is. See. So here pod is controlled by replica set. A replica set is controlled by deployment. That is how the relationship. Okay. So that's all. So I deploy. See here. This is the three pod. What to do? Edit. You can do edit. You know that. And YAML file also you could have done it. Apply and all. You know that. Which one? My dev. What do you want to change this? So you want to change the replication controller. I want the three pod to five pod. This is the replication I'm showing you. And you see that here, five pod you have. See here, five pod. Now I want Hello, to delete this. Hello, yeah. right. A quick question, please. So this yeah. uh, particular config you are using, it replicates yeah. the pods, right? To yeah. create more pods. A, yeah, it has a five feature application controller, versioning, rollout, rollback. Okay. Okay. So here you have replications. I was trying to teach you the controller. So kubectl, uh, kubectl, uh, delete pod. And see, the, look at the age of the pod. Okay. I'm deleting Q manually. Accident happens naturally. And what will happen? So deployment, I deleted four out of five, I guess. So mm. here, see that here look at the age so pod got created so this has a replication control feature and controller feature now you say rajesh okay 
can it be automated that means whenever i change the skill uh, uh, replica it's manually so can i can i make it through like you have to edit the vi file uh, or edit the uh, this one what you say uh, the, the deployment on the server can it be command line automated through ci yes there is a command for it and i don't know the command but actually if you learn and go to the deployment deploy you have a commands please read this i would insist 15 to 20 minutes time you spend it and read it lots of commands are there this is auto scaling that means this will automatically scale that means it will change the replicas automatically depends on the cpu utilizations and ram utilizations so but this is a manual i mean manual is automated through the ci cd you are fixing the numbers okay so here how do we do that i don't know the command so scale hyphen h and here you have so many examples actually so what to do you can define whatever you want so here this is the command and what is the name of the deployment so deployment name is this one how many replicas you want this i don't need current replicas how many replicas you want 10 so you see that you are mm. scaling out to the ci cd commands you can use in the ci cd and see that here can you go So guys, what I try to taught you replication and controller, but now I'll show you the versioning. So how do I see that? So for that I need a commands because I don't want to create a command in front of you. So here Kubernetes deployment. Okay. So these are the commands I want to show you. And where is this? Is the one? Is this the one? I think this is the one. Ah yes, that's correct. So let's go for this, and here this is the command deployment replication is done, done, and versioning is done here. Yeah, versioning. So guys, look at my screen, all of you. So here I want to show you the versioning. So how do I see the versioning? So this is the command rollout command, and here it will tell you rollout history of this particular deployment. There's only one because I did not change the image. Now can I change the image now? So yes, let me change the image. is the edit command you are comfortable this time i'm changing the image i'm i was not asking you to change the any other field but this time just to this one i'm changing the image remember that this image is exist for the my demo if you use my demo my image will be will be easy for you so this is a design for those uh, this image is designed for the demos like this so this is the v1 now i am making the v2 this is the new applications and uh, before that Okay, I'll just quit this. I'll not. I'll, I'll not run it. I'll quit it. I did not change. No changes made. Uh, before that, I want to show you something actually. Oh, right. This is the IP address. One of the pod I want to show you for HTTP. And you see, welcome to DevOps School version one. This is the application. Now I want to show you that edit. Edit. Go to this. And here. V two. Save it, and now you see that history. See V2. So now earlier I was on V1. The versioning is being done for the my deployment, and now I'm a V2. Now can I show you this pod? But this but change still is doing actually. Let's wait for a few seconds. Still creating. Last one done. So now can I show you this here? Well. This is a pod HTTP, and here see that welcome to DevOpsSchool.com v2 correct. So this is a versioning. Are you able to understand that all of you? Yes. And can Now, I switch switch between versions? Which one? Then can I go back to version one? Yes. Why not? This is a see rollback is there. Yeah, roll back. Yeah, same man. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, but the deployment strategy you have to understand for rollout and rollback. The why we are using deployment because it has a strategy actually. Now I want to understand the strategy. So I want to show you the field actually first. You see it here. Get deployment deploy. And if you describe this, uh, I want you to read each and everything slowly. You build the understanding. It takes some time, but This is strategy. Go to the field and where the strategy here. This is a strategy. Which is strategy rolling update. Now I don't understand what is a rolling update. 
so for that this this blog will help you definitely go top and here i have discussed only strategies so see here feature of kubernetes deployment these are the things which i said in simple way i'm not complicating it so here replication controller versioning rollout rollback i'm discussing about the, how do we deploy so guys here in the in the kubernetes we have a two strategy recreate strategy and rolling update strategy okay so which one which one was activated by default rolling update now will ask me rajesh what is a recreate rajesh what is a rolling update so let's understand the recreate first so in recreate see here understand that uh, this image will help you so earlier when i deployed the pod i had a three pod a th uh, three pod in the deployment correct all of you so now when you deploy 1.1 image wide deploy let me show you a little bit zoom so you'll see that better so three pod 1.1 now what happens when you use the recreates deployment strategy then all three pods first get deleted and then all three pods get created with the new version 1.2 so what is a uh, what is a bad uh, thing about this model so in that case your users will be having downtime for yeah. few seconds correct now yeah for the few seconds the users will be having downtime so what do we do in this case so there's one more uh, strategy which we have and that we call it recreate this is the recreate look at this what happens so earlier we have deployment with the three pod so three got have 1.1 then you say you want to change the version what happens the strategy is designed let me show you this field also right now rolling update strategy first create 25 percent then delete 25 percent you can put the number of pod also here so here what is happening so one got deleted then 1.12 created then second you see this image two got deleted and then created parallelly three got deleted three mm. so at any given point of the time you had a three pod and your users did not get impacted because of this this what you say this deployment Next hello question. rajesh yes hello rajesh sorry can i ask a yes. question see um the three pods do they contain this do they have the same content no no it's a two 1.2 1.2 1.2 see that so earlier it's what 1.1 new applications okay. you want to deploy roll out why you want to deploy and same thing i did no edit one to v1 to v2 so basically what what strategy did follow this strategy so what i'm saying sorry what i'm asking is in you have three pods do they have the same application or different application in all of the three no it's the same application but versions are different let's say okay. uh, ms office 10 ms office 10.1 okay. ms office 10.1.2 something like the version okay. some bug fixes some features okay. and all okay okay so that is that is what we call it rollout right rollout we call it correct now yeah yeah so here this is the same thing so i have given each and every commands just like that here also if you see that this is for replication this is for controller and this is for versioning and this is for rollout i mean rollout new version and this is a this is last one for sorry this is the one for the rollback so now I did the rollout. If you see that I did that rollout to new version, edit. Okay. So how do I roll back? So first, let me show you this uh, here. And this is the one and two. So right now I'm under two. So can I go back to one? So this command will help me to go one. See, we need two region one. And quickly copy paste this command to see the status of rollout. Uh, if you have oops, see see this is a roll back in rolling back okay so you see the status of this so now if you have a more container a more pod then you will see that others will become it will be so fast uh, i have one worker so it's linear actually so successfully done now can i check the pod see a deployment rollback has happened can i check the pods i found two wide ip address i wanted and look at this if it is a rollback or not and you see welcome to devopschool.com version one rolled back correct now now if you see the history 
Where is that? Oops. Ah, yeah, this is one, correct. Yeah. So two and three. So earlier one. So here I'll, I'll put it in this way. Understand this. Way. This is a one, two, three. Here I had uh, this image. The image was this one. And here I had the second image, this one. And here I have a third image here. So here. So basically two and three is there. Why? Because they will always store the unique revision. So not duplicate revision. So that's the reason two. Let's say if you have a three, uh, four, you, if you say, uh, four a deployment, if you say uh, three, uh, three image, then they will have a three image. I don't have that image actually. So let's see. Make sense, guys, all of you? Yes. Okay, great. So, guys, this is the deployment. And 95% time we use this, this resources only for, for deploying the things. Now, some of the respectable entries we have, such as you see, go to the top. And, okay, by the way, you have to practice this. I'm putting in the URL. It has a complete detail. So, please practice it. And now few respectable entries we have, and that is if you remember that uh, somewhere here. So now you understand the pod replication controller, replica set and deployment. So what is this daemon set? So daemon set will also deploy multiple pods, but you know what? Daemon set will, will deploy the pod at minimum and at maximum one pod each node. Please remember minimum one, maximum one, each each worker one pod so then you'll say rajesh what is the use cases this is used by administrator to deploy some monitoring activities by the way daemon set has been used by uh, proxy also so if you remember that qctl <clears throat> qctl get pods hyphen hyphen n cube system see here uh, system spelling mistake actually if you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.